What's up, everybody? I'm Bear, and... I'm Hami. Who are you? I'm Hami. Oh, good job. <laughs> what are we making? Uh, we're going to make some balsamic onion jam, and it's going to be delicious. Okay? It's going to be delicious. And I'm getting the recipe out of the ball... The all-new ball book of canning and preserving. Which is an awesome book if you're just getting started on canning. That was given to you by... By him. <laughs> Husband points. Yes. So, um, we need two pounds of diced onions, half a cup of balsamic vinegar, half a cup of maple syrup, real maple syrup, not like the corn fructose. What about scissorp? That's the one you take vodka and cough syrup and you mix them together and then chug it that's so that another, you can ghost ride your whip through the hood. That's another episode. That's a different episode, yeah. okay. <laughs> Uh, one and a half teaspoons of salt, two teaspoons of pepper, two cups of apple juice, three, I don't have that, oh. three tablespoons of low sugar, no sugar pectin, and a half a cup of sugar. Cool. So, I'm going to get started chopping and dicing some onions. And I'm going to wash dishes while she does that. Yes. Okay, so one thing, if you don't have a kitchen scale, you should. So put that on your to buy list because it makes makes weighing everything much easier. Who would have thought? And That's a lot of things like baked goods, you need to weigh it out as opposed to just measuring it. So right. get you a kitchen scale. Plus when I'm sacking up all my weed. Right. Right. Yeah, you know, you need it for that. <laughs> so, I've got four onions in there, and we're right at 1.99 pounds. So, I'm calling that two. And now we get to chop it and dice it. Okay, and if you don't have eye protection, you should probably have some eye protection when dicing up two pounds of onions. So, um, got everything diced up. It's in our pan. We are gonna go ahead and add the, cook down the onions. Uh, maple syrup, balsamic vinegar, salt, pepper, let me see what else, and apple juice. So we're going to go ahead and cook those down until the onions are translucent. Okay, so this has to cook down for about 15 minutes. While it's cooking down, I'm gonna get the pot ready for the water bathing. And the recipe makes about five half pints. So I'm gonna make three half pints and then four four ounce jars so I can give them as gifts whenever I want. Okay, so I was mistaken. We don't add the apple juice while we're cooking down for the 15 minutes. We add it now. So, I'm gonna add the apple juice, two cups. 
I always buy the fresh pressed, not the juice from concentrate. So um, I just think it tastes a lot better. So we're gonna add this, cook it down, uh, boil it hard for one minute, and then we will add our sugar and our pectin and cook that down for a good minute. And I've already got all my canning stuff and supplies ready to go. Okay, I apologize, so is cooking life. Um, I thought I hit the time lapse button, but I didn't. So in here, we added our two cups of apple juice, our three tablespoons of pectin. We let that come to a hard boil while stirring. And then we added our sugar and let it boil for one minute. And now we are ready to ladle into the hot jars. So my apologies, y'all didn't get to see that. Okay, so we've got everything in the water bath canner. We did a quarter inch of headspace. Uh, it's gonna process for 15 minutes and then we'll let it cool, pull them out. I had just a little bit left that I just put into this jar. We're having roast beef for dinner tonight. So I figured whatever was left over, we'll use for dinner. So this isn't getting canned or anything. We're going to eat this immediately. Uh, and it may not even be jellied, but it smells delicious, so I don't care. Uh, so yeah, there we go. I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes, and we'll come back. Okay, so we've got everything out of the canner. It processed for five minutes. They're pinging. Uh, we let it cool for five minutes, and then pulled them out, and like you just heard, ping! So, uh, ping, 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 ping. I hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, subscribe, share, and if you've tried this before, let me know how it turned out in the comments below. And if not, then give it a shot because it smells delicious and I'm hoping it will be very good on our roast beef tonight, even though my kids are complaining about how stinky the house is of onions and vinegar. All right, like, subscribe, share. Thanks y'all.